Hey guys, k Seller here, back at you with another What Sold video. This is for week 20 of 2021. Got a couple sales to start out the week, about five overall. But I also wanted to show y'all a little bit of the shipping I do. Some of y'all have been asking about shipping. This isn't going to be that hard of a shipping, but uh, let's cover shipping with this as well. This little guy, Patrick Starr, sold for $20 on eBay. I think I paid $0.25 cents for him and that you know is one of the big four for a dollar plush I get. But for him, I just put him in a poly bag, a clear little poly bag to protect from uh, in case this poly mailer gets damaged. And then I easily just put him in the poly mailer. So that one's an easy one to ship. This one's one that I'm shipping out today that's already sold, but I haven't shipped it out yet. I just wanted to show y'all that as well. It's the blue macaw that I sold last week, and it's the same exact shipping. There's no, there's no bendable parts on here or anything that's going to get damaged. I might put some bubble wrap to protect the eyes because if you put it in a poly bag, it's just going to get, you know, it could get, it could damage the eyes if it hits something or gets thrown around. So I might put some bubble wrap around here just to protect the eyes. I don't need to do that on Patrick because it's just felt or a little, you know, cloth, cloth eyes. It's not anything that needs to be protected. Also on, Mar or on Mercari, I had a couple sales as well. This little reindeer squishmallow sold for $33 on Mercari. A person sent me an offer of 27 and, and then sent me a message saying, I can't, I don't want to wait and let it get away. And then 12 minutes later, they bought it at full price for $33. So <laughs> this one's a simple ship as well. There's no, nothing that really needs to be protected. I just put it in a poly mailer to protect it from uh, the elements in case this bag somehow gets ripped open. And then I just put it right there in the poly bag. Easy ship. Also on Mercari, this North Face jacket sold as well. This thing uh, wasn't listed very long, maybe a day or two. It sold for $33. Picked it up at a yard sale. Y'all saw it in the previous yard sale haul that I had. So pretty good profit there. I think I paid two bucks for this at a yard sale. Now I just noticed that this bag is ripped right here. So I will have to uh, either tape this shut or uh, just put it in a new bag. I'll probably just put it in a new bag. But this will probably ship priority mail. It's gonna be way too much to ship first class, but it'll be easy to ship. I'll just you know put some bubble wrap around it to protect it a little bit and put it in a poly mailer as well. On Amazon, I had a couple sales. This was also in the last sourcing video. This is that infrared temp gun that I paid $15 for. This thing sold for $73 on Amazon. So good profit. This will go in a box. I don't have the box right with me, but it will go in a box. The last sale for Monday is this, the ventilator book. This book only sold for like 13 or 14 bucks, but I only paid a dollar for it. So it's a profit of six or seven bucks and it's an easy ship. It just goes out uh, media mail. And it I did describe it, you know, I described the stuff on there. So that's notated that that was there. And if there's any other, you know, conditions as well. I think I put it, I sell most books as used good. This one I probably put as used acceptable just because of that. But either way, that's a pretty good start to the week for me. Here are the what solds for Tuesday slash Wednesday of this week. This... Capole hat. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. This sold for $17 on eBay. It was part of that big bulk hat lot that I paid $75 for. It is new with tags. This Harley Davidson 01 hat. This one sold for $25 on eBay. Got the little flames. Cool hat overall. I think I paid a dollar or two for that. This Keyless Entry Audio Vox. I've had this for a while now. I'm not sure what style car it goes to. Obviously, it's a pretty, pretty old car. But this thing sold for $45. I got a best offer of $45. I think I had it listed at like $55 or $60. But it sold. And I think I paid 5 or 6 bucks for that. This is a Flipsy Girls plush. I wouldn't suggest picking these up if you see them. This one sold for $11.49. I probably only paid $0.25 cents to a dollar for it. But it might be... It'll probably ship uh, first class. But it's probably not worth it for the amount of space it takes up. This Earth, Wind, and Fire... Earth... Wind, water, fire, earth, the elements, I guess, essentially. This shirt sold for $13. Paid a dollar for that. This little Beanie Boo sold for $16.98. I uh, had some of these that I was selling on Amazon, and Amazon did their little toy compliance thing. Basically told me, you can't sell this anymore. So now I'm selling them on eBay. Paid 6 bucks for that. A little Monster High doll. I think this was Abby from Dead Tired. Monster High, it's got her little shoes, uh, the dress, and her hair, and all that. She sold for 12 bucks, so not much. It does have a little defect that I did note in the listing, which wasn't uh, original to the doll, but 
Still sold. This Bucky's Beaver plush sold for ten bucks. This guy, I think I paid twenty five cents to a dollar for somewhere in that range. And on Mercari, I had two sales. First up, this little Jolteon plush from Pokemon Center. This guy sold for thirty dollars. Uh, you just saw him in the plush haul from Thursday's video, so he's already sold. And last but not least, this Pearl T.Y. Beanie Boo. I've had her for a little while, but uh, somebody messaged me and bought it and said that they were giving this to their grandkid who used to have this little Beanie Boo. So sometimes sentimental stuff sells, and this one is actually sold for $25 for this little T.Y. Beanie Boo. So some of them can, can be pretty good uh, profits, even though they're used condition. This one is used. No tags. It has the hang tag. Or has the touch tag, but no hang tag. But that's it for Tuesday and Wednesday sales. Here are my Wednesday slash Thursday sales. Starting off on eBay with a couple of sports cards. This Scotty Pippen Old School sold for, sold for like a dollar fifty, And this Goga Batazi Pink Mosaic sold for $1.74. So not much profit, but slowly working it. This little raccoon sold for $19. This came in the lot that I got from Anthony over at Pittsburgh. So this little guy is an Aurora raccoon. He sold for $19. The rest of the sales were all on Mercari. So I had a lot of sales on Mercari for the last day or two. This little spunky dog, I think this came in a Goodwill blue box, but it's baby gun spunky. This sold for $10. This goofy sold for $11. I don't remember where he came from, but probably a dollar into him. Most of these are a dollar. This one is not. This one actually got retail arbitrage for, I think, paid 11 for this. It sold for 22 So not too great of a profit there, but it's still profit. It's a uh, Coco Melon. JJ dressed up as a cat. So I thought those would do better. I still haven't seen those come up on Amazon yet. I'm not sure if Amazon's allowing people to sell them or not. But also on Macari, I sold this gopher. He was shown in the last plush haul. So a couple of these were actually. Uh, the next couple ones. This is Mattel Arco Toys. It's Disney. So it's Gopher from Winnie the Pooh for $22. Then someone contacted me on Mercari and wanted to make a bundle. So I had this bat listed at 20 and the frog listed at 8 So 25 for these two plush. This is a bat. I got this at a garage sale or thrift store for like 25 cents. It's Wild Republic. This is a Gans Webkins frog. And I probably paid, uh, I think I paid 25 cents for him as well. Last item is this kitty cat. I think it's Spice. It's not going to say the name. It doesn't say the name on the buddies usually, I don't think. Yeah. So I think this was like some kind of Spice cat or something like that. I'm not sure where this came from either, but probably uh, less than a dollar into it as well. And that's it for Wednesday slash Thursday sales. Here are my Thursday sales. First up is this Gillette for Women Sensor XL. This was a older type brand. This sold for $25.00. Found this at an estate sale, I think, for like two or three bucks. Always check the bathroom section at the estate sales. This little guy sold for $38. This is a Squishmallow, as always. I love these little things. This one's like a five inch Squishmallow. It's Autumn the Cat, and it sold for $38, like I said. I paid two bucks for this at Dirt Cheap uh, sometime last year. These were all at Target at one point, and then. They didn't get clearanced with Target for the Halloween stuff, so that Target just liquidated most of them. So I got a lot of them, and I'm still selling them as I go. This little guy who I showed in the previous uh, plush haul, Gus the Gator, he sold for 15 bucks. Ryan's World plush. Paid uh, 50 cents for him at a thrift store. Decided to list some of these. I've been trying to list a lot more inventory. Today, Friday, as I'm filming this, I listed 20 items. So this was one of them, and it sold today. Willow Tree Heart and Soul. Found all these in a store. Found a lot of these in a storage unit, and this one sold. I sold a lot of the other ones. I listed like five or six today, but finally getting rid of the rest. My mom, I gave my mom some of them, and then the rest of them she said just go ahead and sell them. So sold that one. This James Wiseman sold for fifteen bucks on the second eBay store. This will be going out in a padded uh, mailer. Anything over ten bucks, I typically send out in a padded mailer instead of using the eBay standard envelope thing. I just don't. I don't know. For value over $10, I like to ship first class. And on Mercari, I sold this little Garfield, My Kitchen, My Rules. Garfield with the spoon. Interesting plush. It sold for $27, bucks, like I said. So I'll take that. I think I paid a uh, dollar or two for this one. This one's, That wasn't a $0.25 cent plush. It was a dollar or two plush, but 
Anytime I can turn it into 27 bucks, I'll take it. And this will be shipped in a uh, in a box to try and uh, preserve it a little. And on Amazon, I had two sales as well. These two sold for 30 bucks as each. This is a Hobby Kids little plushie. I think it's a Hobby Bear. This, I got at Walmart Retail Arbitrage for like a dollar. At one point, they clearanced all these down to like two or three bucks. And then I found one little straggler, and that was him. So... 30 bucks right there from a dollar or two. And then this book I found at garage sale in the last week or two, and it sold for 30 bucks as well. So that's it for Thursday sales. Here are my weekend sales. On eBay, I sold this little Care Bear for $15. It's kind of like a baby Care Bear with a diaper. $15, like I said. On Amazon, I sold this game. I got this at a consignment sale for 15 and it sold for around 50 So it's a really good profit there. Also on Amazon... Sold this little guy for $20 plus $4 to $5 shipping. I will take that off before I uh, ship him out. But just to show you, I paid a dollar for him uh, about a year ago almost, July 30th of 2020. Also on eBay, second eBay store, sold this Jordy Nelson card for $9. A little bit of profit there because, it, well, eventually it will be. <laughs> this little sunny mood, feel good, feel balanced Immuno, Immuno Shield or Irwin Naturals, whatever it is exactly. Sold for $21 on eBay. This little zombie, I think he was in the last plush haul, sold for $17. He sold pretty fast too. Didn't really have any comps to show, to base him off of, so that's what I list him at. Earlier in this week, I sold this guy for I think $36 on eBay. Well, that he also sold on Macari for $42. So really good profit for a tiny little Squishmallow. But this one, like I said, came from Target. Technically, it came from Dirt Sheep, but it came from Target first. So, really good profit there. I will take off the Dirt Sheep label. Last but not least, this little guy. This came from Pittsburgh. Came in a lot of plush I got from him. It sold for $11.50. I wouldn't suggest picking this up. It's just generic. It is a Build-A-Bear. It's a, obviously a yellow lab dog. But I wouldn't suggest picking him up uh, if you see him, unless you can get him for like $0.25. Because at $11.50, shipping... He'll ship first class based on his weight, but it's really not that much profit. But that's it for this video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the week of sales. Uh, leave a like if you did. Comment with your favorite sale. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks for watching.